Hello there and welcome to Ultimate Team FIFA 12 on the Xbox. Uh, this will look the same on PS3 as well. This is what the console version looks like if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, if you haven't got FIFA 12 yet, I recommend you go back down the shop as soon as you can and go and get it because it is a game of the year, pretty much. Um, people can probably argue it's probably the game of the century, but I won't go that far just yet. Right, okay. Uh, First off, I'll, I'll, um, I'll look at the team of the week. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, here's a chance to see it. As you can see, we have Higuain at the top there, 86 rated. Very good striker. Uh, we have Neymar uh, as the centre forward, 85 rated. Now, he is quality. Five-star skill moves as well. You know, you can't go wrong with him. Uh, Lampard. Now, Lampard is amazing. I played against him last night because I challenged his squad. And he literally banged it in from the halfway line. And it was amazing to watch. Um, I didn't know how he did it. Um, I was pretty shocked myself because I wasn't expecting it. Uh, but yeah, he's a great player. If you can get your hands on him, I recommend you do. Um, as you can see, we have three silvers in there as well. Very good players indeed. Recommend if you can afford any of these players. They probably would serve you well since I challenges squad and every single one of those players performed uh, pretty well for me so if you could forward any one of them um, do it uh, don't be deceived by the way if you want to challenge your squad yeah the chemistry may be low but they will attack you like nobody's business and they will cause you problems but anyway we shall move on from that I was team of the week um, okay so basically what we're going to show you is how to make a little bit of money why not let's make a bit of money Okay, first off, we're going to start with uh, Shane Long. Um, because he plays for West Brom, and West Brom's already there on my thing, we might as well go for West Brom. Okay, uh, he is a striker. He's called Shane Long. Um, you can pick him up for about a grand. About a grand, look, see, you can pick him up. That's a good one, actually. Um, 600 there. You can pick him up for about a grand. Um... In fact, I want to put bait on him actually. See what I get. Same for. I can always resell him for about a grand, a grand and a half, or you. Well, you can actually sell him for 1.5 grand to two grand, but obviously be careful of the formations. Um, but yeah, be be careful of the formations because as a loan strike, he's probably not that good. So not many people will probably buy him as a lone striker. So try and be careful as so you pick four one two one two. That's a good one. Three grand though. See. Yeah, if you hang around on the 59th minute, which you can do on the consoles, by the way. I know some people think that oh you can only do it on the web, but you can do it on the consoles. It just takes quite a while to get there. Um, I did it last night, in fact, and I picked up quite a few uh, decent players. So yeah. Um, it is possible, it just takes quite a long time really. Um, okay, the next player we're going to look at is um, Jonathan Woodgate. I think his name's Jonathan Woodgate, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, let me just uh, refine the search a bit. Okay. Yeah, it's Jonathan Woodgate. I keep wanting to call him Daniel Woodgate for some reason. I don't know why that is. But anyway, this is Jonathan Woodgate. You could pick him up for about a grand if you hang around on the 59th minute. Again, 59th minute is one of the best um, methods for picking up uh, cheap players really quickly, by the way. Jonathan Woodgate pops up on the 59th minute quite a lot, actually. I picked about. I picked up two of him last night. On there, um, and as I, you can pick him up for about grand. You can sell him for about one point five to two grand, maybe even more. Um, I mean, some people are selling him for three point seven grand, to three point eight grand. I personally think that's a bit too much for him, but you never know. You might get a lucky sale. Who knows? Okay, so that's Jonathan Woodgate, very good player. 
Um, another guy that I'll show you in Stoke, which I probably wouldn't recommend buying and selling, but he's a good player overall, is um, Edrington. Very good player midfielder. He's a uh, left mid. 89 pace, 84 dribbling. He's a good addition to your squad. If you're in the market for a left mid for the uh, Premier League, I recommend you try this guy out because he is really good. You can pick him up for about a grand, two grand. Um, you can try reselling Etherington, but I haven't personally tried it, so I don't know whether it works or not. But it's your money if you wish to take that risk, then feel free, it's your money. Okay, um, the next player which I want to look at, um, he's a non shiny, he plays for Chelsea, and he is Bosingwa basically. Uh, don't know if you don't know if you know him or not, but Bosingwa. Now, you can pick him up for about a grand. Um, little tip on this don't go for a five at the back. Um, the 4 3 3 formation is probably one of the best. Um, 4 5 1 seems to go quite well as well. Although, 4 3 3 is probably the best formation card for him. Look, see, if you pick him up 4 3 3 cheap. 5.5 to 6.5. Um, let's see if we can find another 4-3-3 one. Just to prove to you that it does sell well in that formation. 4-4-2 also sells well about as well. Not as much as 4-4-3, but it will sell for a good profit. There you are, 3.9, 4.4. Okay. Again, the swinger pops up on the 59th minute a lot. Um, so if you pick him up, and people not don't usually go for him on the 59th minute either because they see that he's a non-shiny and they don't they don't think he's a good player to buy and sell. Um, but he is one of those pl uh, players that are under the radar, and you if you pick him up, you can get quite this profit. I, I recommend you go for the ones with four at the back. Um, if you're buying the swinger, don't really go for the five at the back. Um, uh, since I don't think it probably would work as well, but you could try it if you want. If you want, um, okay. So that's three, play four players we've looked at. Uh, one of them was ju was just. Uh, Okay, um, I'm going to show you a good striker that you should add to your squad now. Um, well, that you should take a look at at least. Um, it's Agbon Lahore. I'm just... Uh, there we go. It's not the formation I'd buy him in, but it's just to show you his stats. Okay, so he's got 80, um, 93 pace, uh, 73 shot, 73 dribbling, 74. 5 head in, 65 pass, 75 rated overall. When you look at that stat, you probably look at them stats and his overall stats, you probably think, oh, he's probably good pace, but he's not that good player. Trust me, he is a good player. Uh, he's a bit underrated on this, I think. Um, he should be about 79, 80 rated, in my opinion. But they put him as 75 rated. But he is a really good attacker. If someone has John Terry at the back, or um, uh, Ferdinand or any of those uh, strong defenders, but they have slow pace. John Terry is not really a centre back I'd go for uh, on this. I'll show you a good centre back uh, in a minute, um, which I'd go for. Um, but um, Agbon Lahore, once he gets past the defenders, he's really hard to get to catch. And his finishing is pretty good as well. He scored some wonder goals for me that I never thought would go in a million years. Uh, he's good with his weak foot as well sometimes. Um, depends obviously on the angle of the shot, etc, etc. But again, he's a good player. He was good on FIFA 11 as well. And he's good again on FIFA 12. So if in the market for him, I recommend to go. He's quite pricey. Uh, around 8 grand is around the going price for him at the moment. Um, he's not cheap, but he'd be a good buy for you if you needed him. Okay. 
Uh, oh, well, that was what I meant to look at in Chelsea as well. Is Lukaku. Um, don't know whether you know who a cap Lukaku is. They bought him in the summer. Uh, let me find him. Uh, there he is. Okay. He's not shiny. But again, he's one of these players that are under the radar and are very good. Uh, you could buy him for about four to five grand. I bought him for four point four grand. You may be able to get him cheaper than that. If you can get him cheaper than that, you could resell him. Purely up to you. But the going price is about four to five grand for him, uh, depending on the formation, etc., etc. Okay, um, and obviously his contract. That one, that's quite a nice contract actually. He's pretty much. Um, he's got quite good pace on him. 86 pace and uh, I think that's 86 pace isn't it yeah it is uh, and he is a wonder guy absolutely wonder guy He's his shot is phenomenal such power on his shot um, very good player to buy very uh, good addition to your squad if you can get, get hold of him uh, I've got one in my squad and he doesn't really score uh, that many goals um, for me, but he sets a lot up and he's also quite quick as well. Um, and if he gets in a good position, he will bang it in, uh, no doubt about him. He's got a good shot on him. So yeah, I recommend you have a look at Lukaku. Very good player indeed. And um, I recommend you get him. Okay, um, that's a few players that you could have a look at. Um, to buy and sell if you wish. Uh, now I'm going to show you my squad. I'm going to show you some uh, a few players which I recommend. Okay, we've already looked at Agbon, the and Lukaku. Um, another one which I want you to look at is Dembele. Now he or Dembele, whatever, however you say it, he is a great player. Okay, a great player. I picked him up for 1.8 grand, and he's one of those people that are under the radar. Again, not many people know about him and he's got quite good pace on him and he is fairly quick and he'll run past defenders and he can if you like say I have him as a centre forward with two strikers he's a good little feeder to feed uh, Lukaku and um, Ekbon Loho so he's a really good player if you if you have a centre forward with two strikers up front he's a really good player to have because he fits in there nicely another player which I would like you to look at is Fellaini now he is amazing okay um, he is a really good defender defender and attacker he gets back to defend and he gets forward as well um, a few times he's ran past the defenders and been through on goal he's got such strength on him he just barges play, players out of the way he's also a great tackler um, if you if you're in the market for a a centre mid Fellaini is one of the ones that I would recommend. Okay, um, David Luiz here. Now he's pretty expensive. Okay, I got him in a pack, so obviously I didn't have to pay a penny for him. But he he you could buy him for about sixteen to twenty grand, depending on the formation, etc., etc. He's a good pacey defender, a good defender, good heading on him as well. And I recommend if you could afford him, is to get your hands on him if you're in the market for a centre back. The other guy I got in the pack was Clichy. Um, he is amazing. Such pace on him, phenomenal. 89 pace. Uh, but he is such a good player, and he runs up and down the the wing like nobody's business. Really good left back. If you can afford uh, Clichy, I recommend you get him. Uh, Anderson's pretty pacey as well, really good. And also I've got Basingwa and I'll have here. Okay, so that concludes uh, today's episode. Um, I will make another uh, video either next week or the week after. I will also show you whether my Jonathan Woodgate sold. Uh, I have put him on here, so I shall tell you whether he sells or not, etc., um, etc. Et Okay, so I hope you learned a few tricks, tips, and different players you could do here. And 
I'll see you again soon. Happy trading.